Hi everyone, this is Catherine with Gemini, and today we're going to go over how to order records through Maris case. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and go to the case which we would like to request records on, and it's going to take you to the details page, and we can see that there are two order tabs, one here at the top, and then one here over on the bottom left hand side, and we can select either. Then we can go ahead and select subpoena records from Gemini and it will take you to a detail page of submitted and non-submitted orders. We're going to go ahead and place a new request for records. So we're going to select order records and we're going to select subpoena records from Gemini. You're going to see this pop out on the right hand side and this is where we can input the information that is going to go on the order. So from select parties, we're going to select the party which we would like to request the records from. And in this case, we'll go ahead and select the carrier, which I've named insurance company. We're going to go ahead and select the injury date. Then we're going to scroll down and select the type of records that we would like to request. Since it is an insurance carrier, we're going to go ahead and select claims records. There's an option to input special instructions if you'd like. And there's a preset needed by date of 60 days out, which is editable if you would like to change it. For this case, the billing party is pre-populated due to there being a carrier already set on the case. If there is not already a carrier set on the case, it would be blank and a different party would need to be selected. You also have the option to add a delivery party. So if you would like the records to be delivered to a different party, you can select that here. So say we would like the records to go to doctor's hospital, we can select them as the drop down. You have the option to input special instructions and you also have the option to input more than one delivery party. Below that, you'll see a place where you can either upload documents from your computer or attach a document from the case. So say we knew that this order needed an authorization, we can select the authorization and select done. And we see that it's been added to the order form. At the top here, you see that there's three options, one to delete, one to cancel, and one to save. So we're going to go ahead and select the save option. And from here, you can either edit it or submit it or delete it. We're going to go ahead and submit our order. And it's going to pop up and say, really submit this order. This order cannot be edited once submitted. We're confident. So we're going to select place order. Once you've selected that, there's going to be another pop up that states, would you like to place more orders on this case? And it's important that we note here, it says, this will create a new unsubmitted order with the same party, injury, date needed by, and record type. We'll go ahead and select yes, clone this order. So as it stated, the party did stay the same. And since we don't wanna request the insurance carrier's information again, we're gonna go ahead and change this. So now we want to request the employer records. So we're going to select Coca-Cola Bottling Company. We're going to leave the injury date the same. And we're going to unselect claims. And we're going to select wage and employment. So it's also important to note here that each record type in Mara's case gets split out into different orders. So for this order, it will be split out into two separate orders one for wage and one for employment. Genie Docs will then take the order once it's submitted and put those two back on the same request. So in Genie Docs, it will be a request for wage and employment records on one request in lieu of placing two separate orders for the same location with two separate record types. You'll again have the option to input special instructions and you'll also have the options to change the needed by date, the billing party, which we would want to keep these the same as the initial order. 
You'll also have the option again to add the delivery party, but since we want to keep it the same, we want to select the same delivery party. You'll see that the attachment didn't pull over, but since this order is being placed simultaneously after the previous order, it's going to go on the same order form in GenieDocs, and that attachment will be on the order. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up and select save and submit. So this is where it lets you know this order contains two records types. It will be split into two orders for tracking and delivery purposes. So again, once we submit that order, it's going to go to GenieDocs and it will be on the same request. So if we're able to submit one subpoena with both records types, we'll do that and they're going to report back the same tracking detail and delivery details. And it will give you the option again if you would like to place more orders. But I would say for this one, we're done. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to your account manager and they will be happy to help you out. Have a great day, everyone.